Hello everybody, this is BLDX, and I'm finally back with a new video. I know it's been a really, really long time since I've uploaded content to this channel. In fact, it's been like over a year. Late at night on April 16th, Nintendo surprised us with the video of new content approaching in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We got like a Joker and the special version 3.0 update. Uh, Today I just wanted to give a little a little review about my thoughts of how Ultimate has been has been for me in the last few months. Uh, the purchase of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate came as a bit of, bit of a surprise to me, and honestly, I couldn't be happier. It took us a mere two days to to to, unlo to, uh, to unlock all the characters, and a few days after that, we got Nintendo Switch Online. And, uh, Also, I get that a lot of people argue about the uh, about the online mode. They're not they're not really getting the battle. Obviously, one. Honestly, I agree with that. Honestly, I don't really care. I just love to battle online. The only complaint I will have of with the online mode out is out, however, is spectate. In brawl, I'll end Smash for or or, or you could bet your in-game gold. Uh, you could bet your in-game gold on who you think would be, would be the winner of the upcoming match. It was a fun si It was a fun system, and I had, had a lot of enjoyment. And I had a lot of enjoyment with it. Though honestly, though honestly, I really don't know uh, uh, why they removed it. It was a great. It was a great feature, and I'm really disappointed they removed it. I still expect it every now and then, but now it's just not as spe. But now it's just not as special. However, mainly, I wanted to get into Spirits, which were introduced to the game aimed during the November or, or first Direct of 2018. Specifically, the Adventure Mode. It could be confusing, and, and despite the fact that most people weren't exactly huge fans of the Subspace Emissary, of which, by the way, I was, I absolutely loved it. Despite that, Nintendo still seemed to get a lot of requests as, as for a new Adventure Mode in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It, and my god, did we get one. It's nothing like the Subspace Emissary, because it doesn't have levels, levels, unique enemies, and things like that. Uh, but, so I will say a, a, that that is something. A, so I will say that that's a bit of a downgrade. I, I apologize, World of Light, but you just can't beat eat the Subspace Emissary. Aside from that, I'd, how do I feel about the idea of Spirits? I really enjoy it. It... It seemed to replace it seemed to replace events and trophy trophies is is stickers customization from Super Smash Bros. 4 or or and a whole lot else so, else else but like most but like most great features in Ultimate but like most great features in Ultimate my one complaint ain't about it is descriptions one thing I loved about trophies is viewing the descriptions. It's something it's something I enjoyed reading about out and out and I was upset to find out that you couldn't do that out when viewing your spirits. Then it's it's Nintendo. If you ever manage to update Ultimate again, which I'm sure which I'm sure you will, uh, will considering all the amiibo that are yet to release, the ace as well as DLC, DLC, I, I encourage you, I encourage you to add spirit description descriptions. I hate to end off this video without talking about the latest version 3.0 update, and my absolute favorite feature that I've been wanting in Ultimate since bef since before its launch, Stage Builder. Smash Ultimate Stage Builder finally introduced something that I have been wanting that I've been wanting since Brawl. Layer is, uh, I really enjoy the layer feature because it allows for a lot more customization. Brawl and Smash 4 or just didn't ha have the kind of freedom. Uh, um, and thank you for making a clear-cut uh, reason for why we have weight. I never understood it before. Uh. <laughs> 